Hey guys, so before I start the video, I just want to say a couple of things. So unfortunately, this video is actually going to be the last video of the daily upload streak. Yes, I'm sorry to say it, but I am going to be going on vacation for a couple of weeks. I'm going to enjoy the last few weeks of my summer, but I really hope you guys have enjoyed the last couple of uploads for the past couple of weeks, and I'm definitely going to leave it off with a bang because this trick is extremely powerful, extremely awesome, one of my all-time favorite effects. So anyways, guys, here's the performance for this trick. Okay, guys, so here's the performance for the Jazz Aces routine. So over here, I just have the four aces. We'll set them aside for now. And we also have these four uh, random lat cards. So now what's going to happen is this. I'm going to show you guys each of the aces in full detail right, right now. So we're going to take the ace of hearts over here, ace of diamonds, ace of clubs, and the ace of spades. Now, most people consider the ace of spades to be like the leader ace. So we're going to set that ace over here while we place the other three aces off to the side right over here. So now over here, we have the four black cards. I can show them off to you. They're just random sixes and sevens over here. So basically what's going to happen is this. I'm going to take a random black card and I'm going to place it down here on the ace, leaving us with only three. Now, if I take the first ace, the ace of hearts, I'm going to leave the ace of hearts inside of the black cards and watch. See if I can make the ace and the black card switch places because now we just have one, two, three, four black cards, meaning that the ace of hearts has jumped right over here. Now, that might have been a little bit too fast for you, so we'll try this again. So now we have a random black card, set it down, leaving us with three. <clears throat> if I take the next ace, the ace of diamonds over here, leave it inside of the aces, give it a snap. Now we have one, two, three, four black cards. The ace of diamonds has jumped over here as well. Now, that also might have been a little bit too fast, but now you know exactly what to look out for. So we'll try this one more time. We'll take a random black card, set it here, right, just, just like this, and we have the other three black cards right over here. Take the last ace, the ace of clubs, leave it in the middle of the black cards. If I give it one more snap, I have one, two, three, four black cards, meaning that the ace of clubs has jumped right over here. And at this point, you guys can examine all of these cards. So that is the trick, guys. And now for the tutorial. Okay, guys, so here's the tutorial for the Jazz Aces routine. So basically, all you're going to need for this trick are these eight cards over here. You're just going to need the four aces and any four random black cards that you want. Preferably just like two pairs of any kind, basically like the two black sixes, two black sevens, for example. You guys can do like eights and nines, twos and threes. Like it doesn't really matter. You guys can do whatever combination of cards that you want. So basically, just get out these cards over here and you're almost ready to go. So all you have to do is just place the aces in a specific order. This order basically I do hearts, diamonds, clubs, and spades. I do this because that means the ace of spades is on the bottom and that means it will be the leader ace. And that also means that I can easily remember the order of the top three aces. I can just remember hearts, diamonds, clubs really easily because it's like the two red cards, hearts, diamonds, and then the other black card, clubs, and then spades will be last. So I can just remember this order very, very easily. And this is very important because this is the order of the cards that is going to jump across just like that. So basically once you have this, uh, you just place the cards together and also the random black cards Cards. These cards can be in any order that you want. It doesn't really matter what order the black cards are in. So once you have this, you're going to show off the cards here. Um, take the black cards and you're actually just going to flip them over face down. Now you're going to hold out the aces to show off to the spectator. And as you're showing them off, you're going to push off the top card with your thumb and catch a pinky break just like this underneath the top black card. So this is just a random card, but you're just going to push it off, lift up with your fingers here, and catch a pinky break. Now what you're going to do is you're going to place the four aces back on top just like this in this order, and you're going to still hold this pinky break. Now this is what you're going to do. You're going to count off the four aces. So you're going to lift up everything from the break here, and you're going to count off the four aces. You're going to go ace of hearts, just peel it off with your thumb, and use the pack to flip it over onto the pack just like this. Then you say ace of diamonds, flip it over, ace of clubs, flip it over, and then the ace of spades. This is actually two cards here. You're holding the ace of spades and a random black card. Now this is what you're going to do. You're going to set both of these cards just on the pack. You're just going to place them down on the pack. And you're going to say, now the ace of spades is considered to be the leader ace. So you're just going to peel this one off normally and set it here on the table. Now what you're going to do is you're going to deal out the top three cards here from right to left. You have to deal them out from right to left. So what I do is just go 
one, two, three, just like that. And I just kind of deal them out here. This means that now I have the ace of diamonds here, the ace of clubs, and a black card. Now this is exactly what you want. The ace of hearts is actually right here on top of the pack. Now when you're naming these three aces, I'll get into this a little bit later, but you are going to have to miss name each of these aces. So don't worry about that quite yet. I'll get into that later because now we're going to focus on this part of the trick. So now basically you're going to be showing the black cards. So what you're going to do is you're just going to count off one, two, three cards, and then this last card, you're going to show it and then put this bottom card here on top. So that's all you have to remember, just put the bottom card on top. Now, you're going to flip over the pack here, and you're going to perform an Elmsley count. Now, I'm not going to get into full detail for an Elmsley count, because I've done many tutorials on it before, but basically, you're going to be showing that you have one, two, three, four random black cards, and you're going to be concealing this Ace of Hearts here. And that also moves the Ace of Hearts up to the top of the pack. Now, when you finish doing an Elmsley count, you do the Elmsley count and you flip the pack back over. You're going to do a little pinky count here. You're going to get a little pinky break underneath three cards just like this. So you're going to get ready for a triple lift showing this uh, random card here. Now, this is a triple lift, so I'm flipping over three cards at once. I'm just pulling down the bottom card, flipping over everything above the break. So this is three cards over here. I just show this for like a split second. So I just go like this. I just say, all right, we'll take a random black card, flip the triple lift back over. So I flip the triple back over and I set the top card on the ace of spades. Now this is actually already the ace of hearts. So you're already one step ahead of the spectator. So now you can actually spread out these three black cards and you can show that these are just black cards. So just do it for a split second. Just be like, so now we only have three black cards. And that's what I really like about this version is that you can show the three black cards just like this. So what you can do now is you take this ace here, you're going to look at it and you're going to misname it. So you're going to take the ace and you're going to say, all right, so we have the first ace over here, the ace of hearts, but this is actually the ace of diamonds, but you're going to look at it and you're going to say ace of hearts. The reason why you say ace of hearts is because this is the ace of hearts over here and you want to make it look like you're taking this card and it's going to suddenly appear over here. So that would just be amazing. So you're going to take this ace and you're going to misname it. So you're going to say, all right, so we have the ace of hearts. Don't show it to the spectator, only look at it yourself. So take this card and place it second from the top. So just place it here in the second position and then square up the cards. And now you're gonna do this move where you snap your fingers and you're gonna do this move right here. You're gonna peel off the top card and you're gonna flip over both your wrists at the same time. And you're gonna be showing this card here and the bottom card. So you're gonna be showing, boom, just peel off that card and then show both your wrists at once just like this and then peel off the top card here set these two cards down and now peel off this card and show off these two cards here. The spectator doesn't realize it, but you've actually just shown the bottom card here twice and you've actually hidden that ace of diamonds just like that. So now once you do that move, basically it should look something like this at full speed. It should look something like this. Just like that. It looks like you're just showing four black cards. And once you do that, the ace of diamonds will be here on the bottom of the pack. And now snap your fingers and show ace of hearts has jumped over here impossibly. So now once you do that move, the ace of diamonds will be here on the bottom. So you, all you have to do is reverse count the cards. So you say, now that might've been a little bit too fast. So we'll try this again. So in that action, I just reverse count the cards, bringing that card to the top of the pack. Now I just do another triple lift and I'm almost going to basically do the exact same thing again. So I'm going to do another triple lift. I'm going to flip over three cards at once, showing this random black card only for like a second. Then I'm going to flip the triple back over, set the top card down. This is the Ace of Diamonds. Set that right here on the table. And now you can show these three black cards are just normal. Now you're going to take the second Ace here and you're going to misname it as well. So you're going to say, so we'll take the second Ace over here, Ace of Diamonds, basically because the Ace of Diamonds is over here. So all you have to do is just take this and say, all right, so we have the Ace of Diamonds. Don't show this to the spectator, only to yourself. Put this Ace here in the second position as well. Put this in the second position square up the cards and give them a little bend or snap or whatever you want. What's going to happen is this. You're going to peel off just a single top card and you're going to show it just like that. Flip it over back on the table. As you're putting it down, so you're going to flip over the single card. As you're putting it down, get a double lift ready. So you're just going to peel down that bottom card here and get a double lift ready. You're going to flip over these two cards at once, hiding that ace. Flip over the double and then flip the double back over just like this and set the top card on the table. Now you're going to take your fingers here and you're just going to show the bottom card just like this. So you're going to peel out the bottom card with your fingers. You're just going to push it out and then flip this over on top, showing this random card. Turn that one over and then show this one and then turn that one over on the table. And now 
you can show that the ace of diamonds has jumped. So once you do all those moves over there, the ace of clubs is going to be here in the third position. So what you can do is you can split the cards into two and just kind of go like this and kind of show them off. Then you're going to bring the cards in your left hand up to the top. That will basically move the ace to the top of the pack. So now you're going to do your final triple lift. This is the easiest part of the trick because you're basically ending up clean at this point. So you're going to do another triple lift showing the random black card here. You're going to Put the top card here on the table just like this. This is already the Ace of Clubs. And now you show off these black cards and you say, and now we'll take the final Ace and just misname this card again. Just say, now we'll take this Ace, the Ace of Clubs. And you can place this card anywhere in the middle. It doesn't really matter. Just place it anywhere you want and then snap. What I do is I just kind of peel out the bottom card with my fingers here. I just peel it out, flip it over on top. I just say one and then do the same thing again. Two, again, three, and then again four and you can spread out these cards because now everything is completely examinable and you can say and check it out guys the ace of clubs has jumped over here to the ace of spades and that is pretty much the trick guys and at this point everything can be completely examined and that is why this is one of my favorite tricks ever it's so powerful so simple but super super awesome at the same time so anyways guys thank you so much for watching all these videos for the past couple of weeks i really appreciate all the comments and all the support on all the videos i'll be back soon don't worry guys i promise i'll be back with more amazing content to share with you guys so hopefully you guys have a great rest of your summer and see you guys for my next video. Bye.